Welcome back. Oh, I'm excited for this video. I don't get this excited for videos very much, but this is a special occasion. So we have some breaking news when it comes to the channel. You know how all those pompous card shop owners out there and all those pompous YouTubers who think they are so high and mighty because they have distribution and their word is gold. They're getting their numbers straight from the source and anything anyone else says is null and void because they're all just guessing and they're just creating content. Even though, you know, I have multiple contacts and friends in this industry now in which I talk to on a daily or weekly basis where they all have distribution and I get my numbers straight from them, which is straight from their source. Even though I always did that, people were still able to discredit my channel because Alex, you don't have distribution. But that's where you're wrong, Timmy, because as of now, Nostalgianomics does have distribution. I signed all the papers last night, talked to my sales rep for over an hour and it's official, baby. I actually talked to my new sales rep for about two hours today because he's been in the industry his whole life. He's been with the company for 17 years and he really talked me through the whole distribution and how it works and gave me the lay of the land and we talked hobbies and then we just talked a little bit of everything and uh, he's a really good dude and it was, it was great to you know build that relationship with him and I look forward to the relationship we're going to build over these years to come. But what this means is no one's going to be able to belittle Nostalgianomics anymore saying he doesn't even know the numbers. He doesn't even have distribution. His information's faulty. No. And you know what? You know what the funny part was about talking to this guy? He said he's seen my channel before and a lot of the things I said was spot on. And he said, a lot of this stuff, I figured you already had distribu distribution because I don't know how you would know all this stuff or get as close as you were to everything you were saying. Now that's odd. Because all the pompous card store owners and the pompous YouTubers with distribution would always talk me down into saying I have no clue what I'm talking about and all my numbers and all my things I'm saying are off. So it really makes you think who's got your best interest at heart. Is it the people who just are high and mighty because they've reached a certain level of career? Or is it the people like this channel who actually want you to have all of the information so that you can make your plays based off the real information, the real product amounts that are out there, and the real way the market is heading? And that's what I'm going to continue to do. And as we continue to grow, who knows, maybe we put on more distributors. At this point, I will let you know, I didn't want to mention it, but I will in this video. I am in discussions right now, buying out a card shop and their distribution rights. Now, we are still going through the process to see if that's going to be allowed. And if me not having a physical location is going to be allowed to buy out the distribution rights and that distributor is going to honor that. So that's, that's yet to be seen. But it's possible in 2025, if everything goes well, I could end up with not one, but two distribution channels. Then we're really going to have to, well, we're going to pump the brakes and be like, whoa, whoa hey guys, we got to put some weight on Namix's name now. His words mean something. He's got distributors. Like it's this mythological thing that like, you know, gives you all the information of the universe. It's not that guys. That's not all this crazy things like you think. It's about the same stuff. Most of us who are deep in the hobby already know. It's the price points you already know. It's the reprint, restock schedules you already know. And so it's just a way for me to continue to break down that wall, that barrier between like, you know, the card shops and the distributors out there and you guys, the, the viewers and the casual hobbyists. Because guys, there, there's nothing that's being hidden behind these walls that I haven't really talked about on this channel already, right? There's no special products, special price points. There's no, uh, I mean, there's special price points depending on how much you spend, but there, there's no like, you know, hidden reprints, hidden restock schedules or, oh, you know, we're going to, we're going to give you the real numbers now. Now we're gonna, really going to tell you if it's short printed or not short printed. No. Right. And so I hope now it gives a little more validity to the things I'm saying on this channel and you can kind of take my words a little more seriously so you understand what's coming. And that way, you know, when new sets are released or, you know, reprints, restocks come, I can let you know, just like me and Eli always do on his channel about how big the, the runs are, about how much we're getting, about, um, you know, if it's, if it's a short printed set or a short printed product, you know, uh, what to expect coming down the pipeline. I'll be able to give you news if there's anything expected to be coming or not expected to be coming, which I can confirm. There is no surging sparks that is going to be coming in 2024. As far as my sales rep at distributors know, there is no more surging sparks product coming. Anything that is leaking out 
our product the distributors already had and they're still you know uh, giving out in forms of bundles or you know giving out to uh, some of their higher dollar accounts things like that there is no more restocks or reprints coming so that dream everyone had of a ton of product coming at the end of the year and said crash the prices ain't gonna happen and so my feeling is still it's probably gonna run to 300 300 plus a box and um, that's everything sparks prismatic evolutions um, there's card shops coming out of the woodwork that haven't even order, ordered Pokemon all year. And now they're starting to order prismatic evolutions in record amounts. And the orders coming in for that are far more than anyone's going to be able to fill. And so yes, prismatic evolutions is going to be very hard to get your hand on. You're seeing these gigantic pre-release prices, the 80, 90, a hundred dollars. Yeah. That's realistically probably where it's going to be because none of the shops are going to get what they asked for. And uh, no one's going to have as much as they want, right? People like me that do ripping ships, we're going to need the packs. And so, yeah, it's likely those products are going to come out of the gate extremely hot and they're going to run up from there just like Surging Sparks did. I'm not going to get into exact price points. It's way too early to talk that, but I do expect those ETBs to be 100, 100 plus. That's where we're heading, guys. The PC ETBs, I don't even know. Those can go to 200. I have no clue. It's crazy. But this whole video is just, you know, a further way for me to break down that barrier between this like, you know, this wall that people think is up, that all this hidden information is behind having a distributor. And any channel that is a card shop or has distribution is immediately on a higher, a higher scale than anyone else talking about things on YouTube. Well, if that's the case, I guess I'm on a higher scale with all those people. And I'm still going to disagree with everything they say because it's bullshit. Surging Sparks was short printed when it comes to booster boxes. All the distributors got less than they did of Stellar Crown. And most people are admitting that now. People would not admit that for the longest time. Now it seems like some people are coming out and saying that. It's the truth, right? And I'm going to continue to call those things out every time it happens, no matter if people want to come to my video and say, Alex is causing FOMO or trying to manip manipulate the market. Nope, I'm giving you the real information so you can do with it what you will. And the people that took that information and bought $120, $130 Surging Sparks booster boxes, well, now they're cashing out at 80 90% gains in literally a few weeks after release. So congrats to all of you. Anyone that wants to leave the negative comments on the video, hey, free speech, it's America, have at it, have at it, call me all the names in the book. But one thing you will not ever be able to call me is a liar, because I don't lie, right? I give my opinions, which may be wrong from time to time, but when I give you information, right, it is information that either I have myself or I've got from a close friend that has distributors that has given me the same numbers and the same things that got told to them that got told to me. That's what I give you guys, and people might not like it right? But you got to respect it at this point. And so um, that's it, guys. That's the video. That's the big news. Um, going forward, this is going to be uh, this is gonna be fun, right? I'm going to do my best to spend as much as possible to get my spend rates up, to uh, get my allocations up in the future, and hopefully eventually be able to do more things down the road, especially for my supporters when it comes to, uh, you know, finding products and things like that at reasonable prices. And um, yeah, it is going to be a fun 2025 looking forward, guys. Subscribe if you're not yet. Let me know what you think about us in the comments. Be back here in a new one soon. I'm out.